Real quick, sorry if I sound super tired. I just woke up as per usual with my recording schedule these days, but I do want to say I assume with how crazy the last like three or four episodes was um, that I'm assuming this episode called Stigma slash Downfall, maybe the last three episodes after this are going to be somewhat resolution type episodes, somewhat setting us up for season four. I have no idea, but it's called Stigma and we know there's a horrible stigma when it comes to monsters. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi Season 3, Episode 9. Like I said in the intro, I am super, super tired, so give me just a couple of minutes to wake up. I'm sure I will. Happens all the time. Um, last episode, we had Asterius versus the entire Loki Familia, which shouts out to the people in comments letting me know that one, uh, Tiona, Tione, Bete, all of them are level 6. So Asterius, OP. And two, that Asterius only really lost his arm because eyes got the jump on him if it was a 1v1 pure straight up it would have been much more even slash in his favor because he was holding his own with one fucking arm so i'm so curious about that and otaro with freya because he seemed to have recognized him which if it is the minotaur from episode nine or whatever of season one that would be hilarious that would be so crazy uh, i'm just excited to find out what happens because like i said i assume there's going to be, uh, I assume the downfall is going to be about Bell. I don't, especially with Aina, how she slapped him at the end there. The words starting to go around. I don't know. I don't like this at all. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. If you guys currently are watching this right now on YouTube, that should mean the replacement show for this is going up on Patreon today, which should be Jujutsu Kaisen. So I know it's going to be a little bit of a time difference. It sh I'm just saying, if you see this on YouTube, check that out. It should be an announcement somewhere around there for that. But remember, subscribe if you guys are new. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. Don't forget to leave a like and a nice comment to help out with the YouTube algorithm. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. It's always, always much appreciated. Let's hop right on into this thing. Um, Don Machi, Season 3, Episode 9, Stigma slash Downfall. Also, real quick before we get into it, I don't even know how I didn't even talk about Wiene at all or anything that happened at the end there. It's just there's so much shit that happened in that episode, but I'm just saying, shit, shit's crazy. Is Ikelos getting kicked out? Yeah, like Ares. So, Dix is dead, Ikelos is kicked out. Good scapegoats. Bells is there helping out as well, yeah. Symbolic target for their malice. And that's what, Mord? Whatever old guy? Talking about him, man, because nah, that sucks, dude. The Mord still likes him, he's just upset with him. I want to know what Finn's thinking, too, I won't lie, because <laughs> he's always like two steps ahead of everyone else. At least he's stuck with his convictions, you know? He's true and true all the way. Oh, we're... Yeah, I was going to say, we're all out in the open now. No more secrets. Maybe there are still secrets, but you know what I'm saying. Makes sense. They were right about that. That that is a gamble. Yeah, 
to the prunes. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. This is a rough situation, I can't lie. I don't know if I can take the public ridicule, especially from ignorant people who don't know, you know, the full details. Even though that's not fully the situation, I gotta appreciate Hestia standing up for him. <laughs> She'll fight for him through anything. I love her. This is gonna be awkward. <laughs> I said it would be awkward, but they didn't even. Not a word was even shared between them. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, he did. Because I'm still trying to remember. It's been season one. It was like episode three or four. Low key. It was low key. Get it? Joke. <laughs> I didn't even mean to say that. I swear to God. But. Uh, Loki's one of oh, but she doesn't know it's Bell, does she? I was gonna say because Freya originally hired Loki and Eyes to like get info or track down Bell. I remember that, and that was during. And then she decided to call it off and do the whole Monsterphilia Ganesha thing, and that's when the Hestia knife came into play. But wasn't I? Hmm, I'm trying to. Hmm, I'm, I'm trying to put pieces together as to why Loki would take. A quite sudden interest in him besides all the stuff that just went down, you know. Seer. No quick judgments off the top. She's uh seems to be same old Seer. I think that'd be nice, thank you. Oh, having nice little stories by the river. <laughs>。あまり一人で抱え込まない方がいいですよ。ブロ。どう思っているかも聞かずに自分一人で走って仲間を巻き込んで迷惑をかけて。also true. He's a very considerate person. He hates putting others in bad situations. Oh. That would make things a lot better. One of them being you, Seer. Oh. There's still that lingering doubt with Seer and Freya, because I know there's a connection there, but I really do like Seer a lot. And Welf just locked himself in his his blacksmith shop the whole time. Ooh, fails his owl with a little message for Lily. Ooh, we found some notes, the blueprints. Uh, makes sense why Ikelos would have them. That's good to know that that's not good to know, but it's it's crazy to know that I've always said from the jump that Hermes is always in this for his own agenda. He always has his own plan, and as long as helping you helps his own plan, he's always down to go along with it, kind of like a chaperone. But I'm still so curious. I know it has something to do with Zeus, and I know it has something to do with making Bell the ultimate hero. But I'm so, I just want to know the details of it. I want to know what he's thinking at every point. It's its exactly like Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. I just want to know what's going on in his head. Same thing with Littlefinger. I was about to say, it sounded like Aisha. And Ryu. I didn't even see Ryu. Hell yeah. Sounds like her. Sounds like her. 
<laughs> that changed the game right there. We have the other gods talking too. I'm, I'm glad we're seeing multiple perspectives and point of views from people outside our familia. That's a big thing, yeah. I like that, Take. Okay, shouts out Fells, but that's still so nerve-wracking, you know. Take a family vote. It's rough because you can clearly see some differing point of views even in our own familia. But we obviously know how Bell feels. <laughs> Very rare that a plan like that actually works. So what do you have in mind, well? So he he wasn't cooped up for his for his emotional reasons. He was doing work. Okay. Good. Always have appreciated the fam, always will. Shouts out to everyone in the fam. Like the best of friends, you know? All you need is four or five people that are truly there for you, and you are set for life. Look at all those magic items. Those look so dope. Okay, cloak of invisibility. What is this, Harry Potter? What is that, the Marauder's Map? What is this, also Harry Potter? What is that, Hedwig? What is this, also Harry... I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. Uh, being bones has nothing to do with this. I love how much love they have for Bell or er, for yeah for Bell. They're happy to do it. I do I would also feel bad. I feel my man lead, but my head understands but my heart doesn't like it. <laughs> Ooh, Finn can tell. Oh my god. Finn's just next level. I always say this. <laughs> That's a good question. I, I really do like Finn a lot. <laughs> what magic item can beat this man's brain? <laughs> Five head. That's a very heroic way to walk off like that. Ooh, this these last few episodes are going to be hype. I'm excited. Well, that was a good episode, especially setting us up for this last little climactic part. I thought it was going to be all down, you know, like in terms of like craziness but no it looks like we're gonna have another crazy part next episode or the episode after that this uh i'm so curious what's gonna happen in season four like how they're gonna set this up because season three took me by left field completely like i did not think we were gonna have wiene talking monsters xenos anything like that but the first thing i have written down is finn because obviously his instinct is is uh I have, a, I have a hunch. His hunches are insane. His mind is insane. He is level six. He has a, a very set goal in mind when it comes to his being an adventurer, you know, the betterment of his people, his prune, which I'm trying to remember because during the Sword of Oratoria, they had their own, they had a couple, not conversations, but little tidbits, like pointers about the prunes that I didn't remember, that I don't, that I don't remember, but I didn't know. Talking about how like they have, oh, it 
I'm trying to remember because Finn did something that, that brought that up or something like that. And I'm just so curious. And I, did, am I crazy or did I see when we we're talking at the end there? Is that? Oh, that is. Yeah, you can see Lefia in the background. I think answer. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because I can see Beite, Eyes, Reveria, Gareth. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen Lefia in uh, Don Machi, right? We've only ever seen her in Sword of Oratoria, which is just crazy but you know she is relatively super strong especially with her long incantations but uh speaking of finn and loki i would really like seeing the other gods and goddesses perspective on what needs to be done do they have even the power to decide on what needs to be done you know when it was hephaestus miyak and taki mikazuchi talking i really i really did like that because they had you know differing differing opinions slightly but i think my favorite part of this episode was uh bell not realizing how much and how quickly people can turn on you which is definitely real very realistic i hate that aspect about humanity but that he still had seer to be able to stick with him through the end you know like uh, even knowing what's going on and talent you know helping him mentally being there for him consoling him telling him that even through all this shit that's going on he will still have some friends that stick with him throughout the end which he does you know everyone a part of the familia just wants to help they said hey don't do it on your own man you, you know you got us here for a reason we are here to help you and i always appreciate that coming from friends taking on self-sacrifice as well for the betterment of your of your loved ones i always appreciate it. you only you never you don't need it i always say this I, i'll always say this to the day i die you don't need a big friend group you can have if you have one good friend in the world you're set but you know having three or four amazing five amazing friends in your familia you know you're actually golden you're set and i always appreciate that and if there's one thing bell is great at it's making friends and making people who care about him but uh, i think my ultimate question that i want answered but i'm obviously i don't want you to answer it because that's be spoilers is what's going on with hermes what's his ultimate plan where is the show going to end is bell gonna be the ultimate hero are we gonna see zeus again i'm so curious i am so curious but if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i appreciate you um just subscribe if you guys are not like i always say turn on that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post videos check out that patreon for early access full length i'll see you guys in this next episode peace out you guys